Greetings, brothers and sisters. I am Pastor Yolanda Pupurtiz, serving by the grace of God at Epworth United Methodist Church in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And this is the day that the Lord has given us. Let us rejoice in it. For our meditation, I invite you to go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God, considering him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. This is the word of God for us today. One of the passages of the Bible that has inspired and strengthened me, especially in times of loneliness or difficulties, is this one. This passage reminds me that I am never alone. Not only I have the promise of Jesus to be always with me, but I also have a great cloud of witnesses, of men and women who accompany me with the examples of their life, of their efforts to achieve their goal with their perseverance in moving forward on the path to which God had called them. And they were able to do so by looking to Christ, who guided them and gave them the power to conquer and therefore leave us their legacy. When I think of those witnesses, I remember not only the great Christian heroes of our history, but I also see the heroes and heroines of my own family, of men and women who, like me, had their weak moments, made mistakes, sinned, repented, were forgiven and restored, and moved on. By looking to Jesus, they were able to give the best of their life, making an impact on the life of those who live around them, but also through the years and generations to us today. When I think that I cannot keep trying in doing good, and so, so many times we all feel that way, right? We are trying to do God good and we don't see the fruits. But when I think like that, when I begin to feel tired trying to do my part and I don't see the results, when that happens, I think of my Aunt Nina, who as a young woman was in charge of raising her six motherless siblings. And even in moments of tiredness and with great sacrifice, the sacrifice that demanded of her, she did not abandon their brothers and sisters. She moved forward, living for them and for all of us, our large family, her great legacy of love and generosity. We all have such witnesses. Who are your closest witness? The legacy of my witnesses helped me also to think about my own legacy. What legacy will I leave to my family, I ask myself? Will I be in that great cloud of witnesses who setting their eyes on Christ were able to run with patience the race that lay ahead? When I think like that and ask those questions of myself, I set my eyes on Jesus, the witness per excellence, the one who gave everything for me. And I asked him to help me, to help me to let neither discouragement nor weariness stop me in my walk by faith, that by his spirit, I may be faithful to the call that he makes to all of us who love him. The call to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. The call to do good, not to get tired of doing good. To be an instrument of justice and peace wherever we are. To be patient, 
and to go forward with our eyes set on him, our Lord Jesus Christ. This is my prayer, and this is our prayer for today. De yes, dear Jesus, help us to look at you and only to you. Help us to continue forward, to do good, to not get tired. We don't want to get tired. Help us, O oh Lord, in your name, in your precious name. Amen. Mm -hmm.